please welcome to our show, Teresa Secuto. Teresa, we've never met, but do you remember one day at Sirius XM, yes. you were passing and I was sitting and then we said hi, and, mm -hmm. but that was it. And then you disappeared. And I don't know where you went. I think no, you went you did too, because there's so many places to interview. So many, yes. There. Mm -hmm. So Long Island and New Jersey women, to me, kind of have a lot in common. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the hair makes you a rock star. Thank you. Like if I were to, if I was, you know, in Ipanema and to see you, I would say, are you from Long Island or Jersey? Which one? That's right. Okay, you've had this show, uh, this, this hair for a long time. I ha I've always had big hair. And we've had, we have the receipts. <laughs> it's fantastic. You grew up in Long Island? Yes, I did. I still live right next door to where I grew up. I still live right next door to my parents. I love that. Yeah. There's something very sweet about that. And I saw your gym wig, or mm -hmm. no, gym hair. Gym so, wig. Sorry, sorry, I wear wigs. I'm I don't sorry. wear wigs. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, look, so what do you do? What is going on there? How do you keep it up? It's just in a ponytail. I just threw, I woke up, I threw my hair in a ponytail and went to the gym. <laughs> That's my son. That's a lot of Aquanet and a lot of teasing. <laughs> That's right. I love it. So now Teresa um, has a wonderful family. She's got her husband, her children, and you've got this huge larger than life career. Yes. All of a sudden. Um, people confuse a psychic and a medium. I'm one of those people. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one. Like, I don't really want to look at you in the eyes. I don't know what you're no, reading. No, no. I <laughs> you know, I want to Listen, I'm just back. here enjoying you. I'm, I'm, in, I'm here to. I don't want to be red, though. No, nope, no, nope, that's not going to happen. <laughs> All right. So what's the difference b between the two? Well, I always say I only speak on how I communicate with spirit. So I don't predict the future. I don't give out lottery numbers. Yeah. Uh, not telling people what to do with their lives. Okay. When I found out that I had this amazing gift from God, because I am a practicing Catholic, people also ask that, too. Okay. Um, I, I learned do. that I had wow. the ability to communicate with people that have died. And I said, if this is my soul's journey here in the physical world, I want to be able to help people move on after the loss of a loved one. Now, about how old were you when you realized that you had this gift? Well, I, I've been seeing spirits since the age of four. I've been telling my mom at a very young age, I don't feel right. I feel different. I feel different than everyone else. I feel like I don't belong. And my mom used to say to me, well, you're not adopted, so I don't know why there's no reason why you should feel that way. All right. Because then you can understand that emotion. Yes. And uh, for years, I suppressed my gift once I got older and started sharing it with my friends because they're like, you're crazy. No one just walked by. This is like when you're in high school trying yes. to date boys and yeah. stuff, trying to be normal. Right. Uh, right. And I'm like, you just didn't hear someone call my name? And they're like, no. So I, st I suppressed my gift. Okay. So then I suffered from anxieties because I am empathic, which means that I feel the souls of the departed. So I feel the way that they've died and what they would like to communicate to you. So uh, it wasn't until later in my 20s. Do you feel like this adds extra stress on your life? Because to me, it'd be very stressful knowing that I have this gift and nobody else understands. Well, I did for a little while. Um, and then I realized that, um, you know what? This is just what I'm meant to do. Talking and communicating with people that have died is normal for me. And I learned that whoever decided what normal is, because for me, it's talking to the dead, and I think it's the farthest thing from being normal. And gotcha. we have to find that within ourselves, no matter what it is in life. We mm -hmm. have to learn to love and honor ourselves. And it's actually harder. <laughs> it's actually harder for me when I don't channel spirit. Right. It's easier for me to acknowledge. That's why when you see a Long Island medium, I just walk up to someone and just and deliver a message, and then I walk away, because it's easier for me to allow the souls to use my physical body to deliver a message. Yes, it's harder to, to suppress. Now, we saw your go-go boots when oh. you came out, but can you give us, <laughs> I want shoe cam, I'm sorry. Okay, go, twist them around, yes, yes. And, and Teresa, Yes. if you can just flap your hands like a how you doing and hold them straight. How you doing? Look, Rambo, get her entire <laughs> glamorous hand cam. Oh, what the I Long Island known, Jersey, I uh, oh no, this is fabulous. Okay, so now <laughs> Teresa has been married for 27 years. Mm -hmm. Her lovely husband is here in the audience. Hello, Sam. <laughs> See, still has the big hair. Yes. <laughs> um, now, how many dates do you go on before you tell a guy, 
I talk to dead people. Um, well, Larry was kind of screwed because he was already 10 years in marriage. <laughs> So it wasn't until I was like, we were married already tw uh, 10 years. And um, you kept the secret? No, I didn't know. My anxiety had just come to a really high point, and I decided to go uh, attend these spiritual awareness classes. That's how I found out about my gift. And the more I learned and embraced my gift, the better I started to feel. So I came home one night, and I'm like, you know, hun, I can talk to the dead. What did he say? I want to divorce, like, or, or let's encourage it. No, he's like, you know what? If you think talking to the dead makes you feel better, then you talk to all the dead people you need to talk about. So now it's all worked out well, though. So your show has been on for, what, nine seasons? We actually, we're, we're going into shooting season eight. Season eight? Yeah. Which is a long time. It's a long time. And, uh, they, they told me, do you consult out of your home in Long Island? Yeah, I did my, my, my readings out of my house. You invite people that you don't sure. know into your home? Yeah. Well. <laughs> well, I'm not a psychic, but I can tell you some <laughs> things that will happen eventually. <laughs> Yeah, you have to understand, I, my, my business, I never had a website until Long Island Medium. I built my business on a business card, so it was all through recommendation. Mm -hmm. And I always felt safe. Um, I have an amazing clientele. And, you know, like I said, I live right next door to my and parents. And your parents and, live next door. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so the new season, Richard Pryor and Monique. Yeah. We saw that clip. Who else is on the that new season? That was crazy. First of all, that, that was crazy. I mean, that, that he even came through, it was, it was unbelievable. Um, we have, um, we had um, Jim O'Hare, uh, Bi uh, Billy Gardell was on, uh, Rosie O'Donnell. I don't... What would Rosie do? Well, I mean, what, who what was she mean? communicating with? Like, oh, who... uh, well, she had come with a friend. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, she, she had brought a friend of hers who unfortunately lost her husband. Mm -hmm. And uh, Rosie's, uh, both of Rosie's parents had come through. Did she cry and fall on the floor? Um, she was emotional. Oh God, you know, Teresa. You know, but there, it's it's an interesting um, position that you have. You know, because a lot of people, I think, misunderstand it. They do. And I know um, my Suzanne is really into it, mm -hmm. and I understand that it's like a year and a half to book her. She's so backed up with. Bookings. I don't even. I don't even know how long my, my waiting list is. I just have a waiting list. You know, but th this isn't about, Wendy, it's not about people believing in mediums. I believe that everyone has the connection with their loved ones. Yeah. And I just want people to be aware <laughs> of those signs and symbols that go on around them, that yeah. they're not crazy. Yeah. I want them to be able to embrace them on their own, to know that there truly is more to life than just here in the physical world. But more importantly, their loved ones are still with them just in a different way. Well, I gotta tell you something. When I said to the audience that you were coming, mm -hmm. they clapped like you were Cher, Madonna, <laughs> and Beyonce all in one. You are love, Teresa. Thank you, uh, thank, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank the Long you. Island Medium airs Sunday nights at eight on TLC. Check it out. Teresa's also got a new book, it's called Good Grief. It's coming out on March 14th.